weather with the KX News Storm Team. Hey Tom, how's the weather? Hey, Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah Brooklyn and, and her mom went out uh, today. They live uh, just north of uh, Bismarck, went out to check how things were. Uh, had a little lull in it, but it looks like Brooklyn's having a lot of fun. Brooklyn, thank you for doing that. Hey, Tom, still have the uh, blizzard warning, and I just noticed, and this happened just moments ago, a few more counties have been taken off the blizzard warning. So now you can see it here. So conditions are improving from the west. That is a great sign right there. And uh, here are the road reports. The roads are actually getting better. It's not no travel advised uh, in the west. However, it still is uh, for more than 50% of the state. And uh, I just checked this like three minutes ago, and 52 was still closed all the way down to Jamestown. Again, a lot of no travel advised, but it is improving. And uh, right now, mostly uh, 10 to 15 degrees as uh, temperatures. Now, Crosby's a little bit colder, but still, it gives you a ballpark. And uh, the wind is roughly uh, 15 to 25 miles an hour for the sustained winds. Wind gusts aren't as bad as they were yesterday, thankfully, but still blowing that snow around. The snow that we were getting now and we got yesterday, much drier than early in the storm. So it blows around very easily, and this is certainly enough to do that. Wind chills, most of them are below zero. Uh, Bismarck's the only one. And, and, and Wolf Point, too, at zero or above. So conditions will be improving tonight. Now, if the sky clears, and now there is no guarantee it will, but it may try to clear out a little bit, places where it clears, the temperature could really fall, even more than forecasted. So uh, by midnight tonight, you can see how it's trying to clear out a little bit. Not saying it will, but if it does, uh, temperatures are going to be you know, really bottoming out. Now, tomorrow afternoon, not much of a chance, but tomorrow night, uh, it looks like about a 30% chance of very light snow. This is coming from Canada, not the same storm, so it's different. <laughs> still snow, but it's not like what we've got going on right now. And yes, we are going to get an Arctic blast right before Christmas. So here we are uh, tomorrow evening. You can see this purple color here. That's really the, the very cold air. Now it's even colder when you get to this color here, but you can see that right there. And then as we go through uh, Sunday, it stays cold all day Sunday. Uh, Sunday night into Monday, it stays cold. The really cold air is off to the west, but it's heading this way. Look at that, how it gets close by uh, Tuesday night. And Tuesday night into Wednesday, uh, we could have some very, very cold temperatures and, of course, of course those uh, wind chills. And look at this. Here we are Wednesday. This is the really frigid air getting into uh, western North Dakota. And uh, Christmas, or Thursday, uh, very, very cold as well. And uh, what we're looking at here, probably wind chills at some point next week could be 30 to 40 degrees below zero. And when you get to those kind of wind chills, frostbite can happen in five to ten minutes. And if it's real frostbite, you will not recover from it. So take it seriously. It is going to be that cold next week. And the Weather Service, and I saw in some of the discussions that, you know, we may be using the terms next week, life-threatening weather. That's not a hype. That's exactly what we've got coming. Now, tomorrow morning when you wake up, wind chills will be uncomfortable. It'll be cold. You could get frostbite. It may take a little while, but that's what it's going to feel like if you're outside shoveling the driveway or, or using the snowblower tomorrow. It is going to be very, very cold. And as we uh, take a look at low temperatures for tonight, uh, should be below zero for most of us. And uh, the winds are going to continue to be blowing. So those wind chills again dropping 10 to 20 degrees below zero for wind chills. And then tomorrow, that is going to be a cold day, slightly less frigid in the southwest. And then as we look at the Bismarck 7-day, and I'm just noticing here on the camera, visibility seems to be improving a tiny little bit around Bismarck, but single-digit highs, uh, you know, for the next several days. But check out those nighttime lows. That is just going to be brutal. And then on, uh, for the Minot area, it's probably going to be a little bit colder. We have a chance of snow tomorrow night into Sunday, maybe a little bit next week. Does not look like a big storm, but Joel, uh, you know, right now we really need to take this time. If you haven't done, you know, clear out the driveway, do whatever you can right now, because as it gets colder, it's going to be a lot less fun to be outside. Yeah, that's for sure. We're talking sub-zero. You're really going to be cranking up the heat by this time next week. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's coming. It's not going to miss us, so let's just get ready for it. We're hoping it leaves us uh, relatively soon, that it doesn't linger. Thank you so you much. You want some good news? You want yeah, some good news? I, yeah, I do. By yeah, Christmas go ahead. Day, we might see the temperatures going the other way. They might start going back up around Christmas. That would be a pleasant surprise. Let's, let's keep our fingers crossed that for that. That would be nice. All right. Thank you, yep. Tom.